Welcome back to the Popcorn FX channel for a new tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to explain how to install the new version of the Popcorn FX plugin to your Unity project. We have two ways of obtaining the plugin, downloading it from the site or adding the plugin directly from Unity's package manager. You can gather the plugins for manual installation, but we will use the other method in this tutorial. Notice that the plugin has multiple add-ons. Those should be downloaded alongside the universal plugin if you use either the URP or HDRP rendering pipeline. To install the plugins through Git, go to Unity, Window, and open the Package Manager. Press on the plus on the top left of the new window and Add Package from Git URL. You will find the links to the plugin and its add-ons in the descriptions. Make sure that you set the same version as that of your Popcorn FX editor at the end of the URL. If you are not using the built-in render, make sure to download the corresponding add-on at this step. Once again, make sure that the Popcorn version at the end of the URL is the right one. Notice that the plugins now exist in the other category. We need to select the PKFX settings assets in the assets slash resources folder of the project tab. Then set the source pack path using the button source effect pack and selecting your popcorn FX project where the .pk proj file is located. You may then set the baked path inside of your Unity project. It defaults to assets slash popcorn FX assets. It's where all the baked files from Popcorn will go. Now you can either import the whole project or click on Choose Files to choose which effects to import. We select torchfire.pkfx and press Import Selected. Now we need to set up the scene. It is required to have a single PKFX rendering plugin component present on a game object and active at all times. In the ERC tab, click the red button and choose PopcornFX slash rendering manager. Alternatively, you can add a PKFX rendering plugin component to an already existing or new object. Notice that the PKFX logger component is automatically added. It allows for the configuration of logs from the plugin. For every camera that should render particles, there should be one attached PKFX camera component. If you want to create a new camera, click the right button in the hierarchy tab and choose popcornfx slash camera. If you already have the camera that you want to use, select it and add the component PKFX camera. Now we will put the effect in the scene. In the hierarchy tab, click the right button and choose PopcornFX slash effects. You can also directly add the PKFX emitter to an already existing object. You may find the project's baked effect in the folder designated as the bake path that we have seen prior. You can then use any of the baked effects by dragging them in the effect asset field of the PKFX emitter component. Notice that all the attributes that were seen in Popcorn are now available in Unity. To play an effect, press play. You can stop and restart the effect again. Congratulations! You can check the documentation for more in-depth information about the plugin in the description. To set up the Unity Content Example project, go to the website shown on screen, its link will be in the description. Press code and copy the project's link. You will need a Git client to download this project. Here, we will use Git Bash. Using your favorite Git client, Clone the project using the link we copied prior. And make sure that you also pull from the Git LFS to complete your setup. Open the project through Unity Hub. Pay attention that this is the built-in project.
you can see how the files are incorporated into Unity and their setup. Open the 00, welcome to popcorn FX scene in assets scene. Take the time to press play and walk around. There is a lot of information and examples. When you press tab in play mode, you will be transported to the next scene. Enjoy.